Hello everyone, I'm Angeline Villete and I'm going to discuss about memory. Let's check first your knowledge about this topic. Please answer the question. What is memory? It is a set of mental processes involved in the storage and subsequent retrieval of information. Memory is an integral part of human cognition since it allows individuals to recall and draw upon past events to frame their understanding and behavior within the present. There are three main processes that characterize how memory works. One is encoding. Encoding refers to the process through which information is learned, that is, how information is taken in, understood, and altered to better support storage. Information is usually encoded through 1. Visual encoding, or how something looks. 2. is Acoustic encoding, or how some, something sounds. Next is semantic encoding or what something means and four is tactile encoding or how something feels. Storage refers to how, where, how much, and how long encoded information is retained within the memory system. Encoded information is first stored in short-term memory and then if needed it is stored in a long-term memory. Retrieval is the process through which individuals access stored information. Due to their differences, information stored in different memories are retrieved differently. Stage model of memory is often used to explain the basic structure and function of memory. This theory outlines three separate stages. One is the sensory memory. Sensory memory is the earliest stage of memory. During this stage, sensory information from the environment is stored for a very brief period of time, generally for no longer than a half second for visual information and three or four seconds for auditory information. People only pay attention to certain aspects of the sensory memory. Attending to sensory memory allows some of this information to pass into the next stage, which is the short-term memory. Short-term memory, also known as active memory, is the information we are currently aware of or thinking about. While many of our short-term memories are quickly forgotten, attending to this information allows it to continue to the next stage, which is the long-term memory. Most of the information stored in active memory will be kept for approximately 20 to 30 seconds. Long-term memory Long-term memory refers to the continuing storage of information. This information is largely outside of our awareness but can be called into working memory to be used when needed. Some memories are fairly easy to recall while others are much more difficult to access. Long-term memory is usually divided into two types, the explicit and implicit. Explicit memories, also known as declarative memories, include all of the memories that are available in consciousness. Explicit memory can be further divided into episodic memory or the specific events and semantic memory or the knowledge about the world. Implicit memories are those that are mostly unconscious. This type of memory includes procedural memory, which involves memories of body movement and how to use objects in the environment. How to drive a car or use a computer are examples of procedural memories. 
Let's answer the questions in the beginning of this video. Explicit memory and implicit memory are types of long-term memory. The correct answer is true. Episodic memory is the recalling of subjective life experiences. The correct answer is true. Acoustic is the type of encoding that pictures information in our mind. The correct answer is false. It should be visual. Short-term memory is the first stage of memory that involves information bombarding us every second. The correct answer is true. Retrieval is the process of getting the information back from the storage. The correct answer is true. That ends my report. These are my references.